Greetings folks, today is the day I get to start setting up my Sky Hunter full size with the awesome Carbon Bird gear. Already got the decal on there, coolest decal I've ever seen I reckon. I'm going to be using the 35, 15, 11, 11 kV motor, which Q tells me is actually closer to uh, 1275 kV. So on 3S you use a 12 inch prop. Uh, I have a folding 12 by 6 prop there, 6, 12 by 6.5. On 4S you'd only need a 10 inch prop. And I believe it pulls uh, wide open throttle 50 amps on 3S with a 12 inch prop, so that's some serious power. Uh, because I'm going to be using the iNav and Air 3 flight control board, uh, I really need fast digital cordless uh, Metal Gear servos, so I've got these Carbon Bird KST servos, which will be just beautiful. And I also have the prop mounting gear there. Now let's have a closer look at the motor. These are just beautiful motors. So this is the Carbon Bird 35, 15, 11, 11 kV. It's a big, chunky, gorgeous looking motor. Love the red colour too. Doesn't come with a mount, you sort of have to work out your own mount. This one comes with uh, a spare shaft. This sort of set shaft here is designed for pushers, prop adapter there. Bullet connections are larger than my normal, what, three mil, I think they're about three, three and a half or four mil. So they actually give you the female end as well to solder onto the ESC, which is very nice. Spare circlips for the shafts. Now this one also comes with two threaded shafts and they are clockwise and counterclockwise nuts for twin tractor setup. Very nice touch indeed. Depending on which way you want your motor to spin, you can have the prop, uh, the nut self-tightening. Very cool. And I also have these Metal Gear Digital KST Carbon Bird branded servos. Got 18 gram and 12 gram servos, 18 grams for the ailerons. Metal cased, beautifully designed, really nice feeling servos. There's the plastic case Metal Gear 12 gram servo. And as I said before, you really do need the fast digital cordless servos for iNav and the Air 3 board to be working at its best, and that'll give you the smoothest flight, fastest response. Just the bee's knees. All right, let's put them on. So I've mounted the 18 gram KST servo here, and I've replaced the, well, I've changed the uh, push rod to my bulletproof push rod method. No way that's going to slip or come out. I have mounted the uh, 12 gram servo in the tail. Another bulletproof push rod. Servo wire goes up the boom. Because I don't have to de detach the boom or pull it out to transport, I can leave that permanently attached now and that's sort of running up to the bundle of wires there. The build is going quite well. I had to make up a, an aluminium motor mount here, which is it's only screwed into the, the plywood mount, which isn't ideal. I'd really rather bolt it all the way through. Uh, but I made an aluminium plate that the motor bolts onto. Um, I've also made a little plastic uh, prop saver here, just so that the prop doesn't fold back over the centre line, because if it does that and uh, fires up when the prop's folded right over that way, uh, it doesn't have the centripetal force to fling the prop out and it'll shake the motor off. So that little piece of plastic there just stops the prop from passing over the center line. Just need to put a little bit of Loctite on the thread here just to um, so my prop doesn't come undone. I don't really want to undo that prop again because it's nicely balanced where it is. I also had to carve out this little spinner cover here a little bit to uh, fit the prop saver. So I can put that back on now. It's ready to go. I'll give it a run up. I, I tried it just before to check out how much current it's drawing and uh, it pretty quickly gets up to 40 amps and full bore it'll be about 50 amps so it's drawing a lot of current. That 
that is nice. Very smooth indeed. I'm very happy about that. Didn't have to do any balancing at all. I even tried a little bit of dynamic balancing with bits of tape on the uh, props, but everything I did just made it worse, so I'll leave it as it is. I'm just trying out the Sky Hunter with all the nice carbon bird gear on it. Uh, it flies absolutely beautifully, cruising around on a third throttle on 3S. I think I've got a little bit um, tail heavy at the moment, needs a, another big battery in there I think. Uh, but it's meant to carry weight, flying easily, very impressive. Once I get it all balanced and, and trimmed up properly then I'll put iNav on it and uh, start flying some missions.